guys! With today's pet portrait, I was going for a softer watercolor look with the ink tints, using light colors and a limited color palette. I started by painting in the background with just clear water to make the paper wet, and then I came over top with a light blue, and then darker blue for the tree branches in the distance. Because I painted this in wet to into wet, the edges of the branches bled into the blue color of the sky, making it really easy to create the soft, blurry look that I was going for. After that, I began by painting in the shadowed areas of the flower with a greenish blue, basically doing an underpainting of the flower using the complementary of what I wanted the flower to be. Once I had the shadows in, I moved on to the cat while I let the color dry. With ink tents, because it becomes basically permanent when it's dry, it's actually easier to put in the darkest areas first and then paint other colors over top. So with this, I put in all of the dark markings in the cat's fur so that I wouldn't lose them. It's important to let the first layer dry completely before putting other layers on top, otherwise you will have color lift up. So in letting the cat dry, I move back to working on the flower. I glaze a pinkish magenta color over top of the green shadowed areas, using the wet into wet technique to achieve a nice, soft, even color. As you can see now, the green areas I painted first don't look green anymore, but rather just a muted version of the magenta-y pink that I painted over top. Had I used black or gray to shade these areas, the color would have ended up looking dull or even dirty. Or at least that's the result I've had when I shaded that way in the past. So now I try to use the complementary color for shadows instead of black or gray when I can. Moving back to the cat, I paint in a muted bluish gray color for the fur and a tan color for the belly leaving the white areas of the fur white. Once I have that mid-tone established, I switch back to the flower and further define the shadows, mixing in the greenish color with the magenta and making the darks even darker. I add a little bit more detail and definition to the shadows and further define the stamen of the flower. Once I have the color basically where I want it and I let the ink tents dry, I rub my finger on the paper to remove the masking fluid I had applied in the beginning. I had used this masking fluid for the highlights on the petals and the cat's whiskers. I was able to push the highlights on the petals back a bit by painting over them. But I found that with the whiskers, it was just a little bit too thick. It's really difficult to get a fine detailed line with the masking fluid, so I don't think I'll be using masking fluid for whiskers in the future. I come back in and start darkening up the patterns on the cat and hyping up the contrast in detail. This is where I start to use the ink tents pencils to bring out the texture in the fur. I use blues, grays, kind of like an oakish color and a brownish tan color in the layers of the fur. At the very end, I use a white jelly roll pen just to bring out the tiny highlights in the eyes and add some highlights in the cat's fur. 
That's it for this piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this time lapse video and be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on my newest work. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.